Hey guys and girls, this is Ellie and this is the day we've been waiting for. Ruby Volume 6, Episode 1, Argus Limited. I'm watching this like right after it came out on the Rooster Teeth website for first members, just like 15 minutes after it came out. I had a few problems with my internet, so I couldn't watch it right away. But I really wanted to. <laughs> and yes, it's there. Ruby season has begun. And, well, when you see this, it will be a week after when it's for the public. But right now it's so fresh. I haven't gotten any spoilers. I only watched the trailer. I reacted to it. Um, you would have seen it two weeks ago. Yeah, I think two weeks ago. And I'm so hyped. I really want to know what happens. Argus Limited is kind of an odd title. Um, Argus, I know that from mythology, like the Argus eyes. Um, but I really want to know what it has to do with Ruby. Um, so let's just jump right in. I, I hope it doesn't have to buffer that much um, because I think many people are watching that right now. Um, yeah, let's just hope <laughs> and jump right in. I'm so excited for new characters, what they do with the plot going to Atlas, um, if the train fight will be this episode, but I don't think so. Um, and the new intro and the music and everything. I love Ruby music and I really hope this intro is gonna be great. And I hope this episode and this volume is gonna be great. This, this chapter. God, I'm so bad <laughs> at distinguishing chapters and episodes. But yeah, jump. we'll jump in. Let's have faith in three, two, no, no, no. Let's, let's count from six because it's volume six and it's starting in six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Rooster teeth. Those are the shots from the trailer. Rooster teeth original series. Yes. Okay, that's new footage now. They're already on the train. We're starting with the train ride. Oh god, those two look amazing. Got him. Now who's next? <laughs> this one. Thank me later. You can do this twice. Yeah. Incoming. Yeah. I love the cinematography. So they showed us a lot from the first few minutes. Why is... <laughs> the White Rose Shivers are gonna be crazy. I can't believe he turned his back on us. He just... Step away from my throne. We have work to do. We? Everyone knows what you did. You abandoned your brothers at Haven. Step away from my... We are not taking orders from you anymore. We heard you folded the moment you got sass from the Belladonna girl. I guess she's got more control over you than you... What? No. He was killing all those people. <laughs> But he has his 
mask. That doesn't Belladonna correlate with a character short. Blake. Now he's screaming. Wow. Adam is is through. Argus, I I, I read that. Okay, it's Argus been two Limited weeks is since the attack on Haven. Argus is a place. The official report states that the plot to destroy Mistral's CCT tower was thwarted by Gira Belladonna and the Faunus militia group from Menagerie. The huntsmen and some students coincidentally visiting the headmaster were also able to lend some assistance. Unfortunately, Leonardo Lionheart lost his life while trying to defend his school. And those wow. responsible for organizing the attack managed to escape. As I'm sure you can guess, there's a lot more to this report than I'm willing to say in this letter. But for now, letter. what I'm trying to say is that we're on our way to Atlas, James. There's a good chance we'll get there. He's writing a letter to Ironwood. But in case we don't, I need you to know that we're bringing a lot more than bad news with us. See you soon, Crow. <sighs> hey, what's with the running? No, what's with the standing? It's almost time! Oh. So she was just excited. <laughs> and? Ah! What an absolute waste of time. What did you get me? You'll have to wait and see. No fair. <laughs> ah! I can't believe we're taking the train to Argus. Beautiful northern coastline. You think it's too early for beach season? <laughs> oh god. Unfortunately. But we will be one step closer to Atlas. Well, I'm glad you're all excited, but I don't think you appreciate the trouble I went through to leave Atlas. Yes. That's what I thought. Team Ruby won't leave your side for a second. I promise. Oh. No one's gotta be worried with us around. Who are you? And you are... Uh... Why, Dee and Dudley, of course. The Argus Limited's very own huntsman. We'll be keeping everyone safe as we pass through Grim territory. But, for a generous tip, we can make sure your passenger car gets extra special attention. Should things get dangerous. Yeah. I got a tip for you. Huh? Buzz off. Thank you, Crow. Like Mistral's really scraping the bottom of the barrel these days. Hey, you're talking to a, a professional <laughs> huntsman, right? Well, it seems like one of you heroes left the staff entrance to the caboose wide open. Huh? It'd be a shame to lose your job before it even started. <laughs> I, I didn't do it. <sighs> Come on, dummy. Well, I didn't do it either. I do hope those Who's weren't Beacon guy? graduates. You know. Sometimes the burden of saving the world feels overwhelming. But then people like that come along and make me grateful that it's our job and not theirs. <laughs> that, that's a good thought. So, you kids ready to go? Bike all loaded up? Yep, just waiting on Blake. As usual. Yeah, where's Blake? That... I... She wasn't there. I still there. don't feel like I deserve the freedom you and your oh. family granted me. I like well, Ilya's outfit. You're going to have to get over it, Ilya. Saving Haven had a huge impact on how Faunus are seen in Mistral. Now it's up to you all to take the progress and keep running with it. Right. Aww. The White Fang may have been a failure, but with your father starting up... I want your jacket. Head, I've got more faith than ever before. Oh. Thank you, Blake, for everything. I wish she didn't have to go. But she has to. I know. But my team needs me. We're going to track down the people responsible for the attack on Haven and the fall of Beacon. Always trying to save the world. Yes. More than you realize. <laughs> hey, I know your parents already saw you off, but where's... Son? Oh, he's right here. Right here. Wow. What? So he's not you coming. You think I was going to miss your yeah. big send-off, did you? He definitely overslept in Thank absolute you! <laughs> Wow. Hey Blake. The first time we see now, him in the new up, Need I remind you we have our animation. own trip to plan. Oh. I didn't know Ilya was going to be here. I'll uh, I'll give you two a moment. Hey, uh, he's gonna see you there cuz you know the the okay. camouflage. 
wrong tree. <laughs> They'll figure it out. So you're really going to Vacuo? That's right. Seeing you reunited with the rest of Team Ruby really made me realize something. I'm like the worst team leader ever. Me and the boys yes. are cool with a little hiatus, but we gotta make up for lost time. Shade Academy's not dealing with any problems like Haven right now. Plus, that means I can show the guys around my old stomping grounds. And I have to admit, I think I was kind of getting used to having you around. I go where I'm needed. <laughs> oh God. And you don't need me anymore. Well, when you say it like that, it sounds sad. Look, despite the drama and the fighting and the numerous attempts on my life, I had a lot of fun. But you're with who you're supposed to be now. Wow, that's son actually cute. I don't think I'll ever be able to thank you enough. I'm still, um... You're still working a lot of things out. I know. But you can do it with them. And in the future? Who knows? I've got a feeling you haven't seen the last of me. <laughs> I hope so. I certainly I want to say the... I want to see the rest of Team Sun. Wait, what... Was, was that a pack on the chip? I don't know, man. Feels like you're just letting her go. It was never about that, Brainiac. Besides, now that your leader's back and hardened from battle, I've got to focus all of my time into getting you boys ready for the wastelands. <sighs> <laughs> wow. Neptune seems not very amused about that. So the scene we had before was just like a flash forward. Ah, this woman, I want to know who that is. Or not. Not reading, Blake? Alright girls, I think it's time for an official team exercise. Who wants to play video games? I mean, if you want me to kick your butt, yeah, sure. Let me grab my scroll. Here, let me help you with that. Blake, you don't have to do that. I don't know what you're talking about. She wants to make up for it. We're gonna be fine. It's just gonna be a bit before things are back to normal. But I am glad we're all back together. Yes. Thank you, Yang. <laughs> Those two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, touching. Oh, hey, Uncle Crow. You want to play too? <laughs> Kick your butts? Sure. What okay. Was that? It happens. It's starting. Exactly what it sounds like. Just my luck. It's not yours. Grab your weapons. Not yours? What did you want to say with that, Crow? Do you mean it's your luck? Or bad luck? Okay, the fight is starting. And the very professional huntsman try to hunt. Wow. That is an interesting grip. <laughs> so those are different. That was fast! Is that, that like the mother What's or something? The plan, Ruby? Don't let anyone else die! Okay, did, did the guy just die and her line was about him? Or. Shall I? No, I'm keeping control. <clears throat> What's going on? Okay, this is why Team Juniper. <laughs> Sorry, the, the P. <laughs> no, why Renora and John weren't there at first. Are you gonna die too? Ooh. Interesting. That 
actually helps. And Crow is using his sight. He's going for the mama. trying to disable the weapons. What? They they can they can spew fire? Oh my god. Why is it always something? How can I help? You can get that idiot to shut off the turrets. We're just drawing the grim toward the passengers. Right. Go, Oscar! You can do this. Stop! You gotta shut the turrets up! Are you crazy? No way! Yes! Another one down! Stop! Have to lure the crim to the back! What does it matter if they're dead? <sighs> okay. Where are they going? Tunnel! Huh? Wow, it's a tunnel. But I like that they Maybe continue the the conversation in the background. Please just shut up the turrets. Trust us. We know what we're doing. Uh, wait, I have to stop short. Fine. Okay, sorry. Um, my computer wanted to do updates, and well, I don't want them. So I'm just gonna start again from the moment where Ruby decides to jump in. Instead of shaking down passengers, maybe we wouldn't be in this. Please just shut up the turrets. Trust us. We know what we're doing. Ooh, he's better at controlling it now. Fine. <laughs> Ren. Could you use your semblance to mask everyone on this train? With the guns off and emotions That's... hidden, they might lose track of us. That's like a... I've never attempted to affect this many people. Yeah. Well, you've never had Jean's help before. Hmm? Jean is... Amplify your aura. Yeah. Th that's a good use. May I? Don't look so worried, Ren. You can totally do this. I'm afraid there's one complication. Okay. Grim are also attracted to this. What's that? To the rally. Your business. Oz, are you serious? Why wouldn't you tell us that? I... It doesn't matter right now. Every second we're on board this train, we're putting everyone else in danger. Yeah. Get the passengers to the front cars. You'll still mask the emotions and kill the turrets. We just can't come with you. If we cut the back cars with us and the relic on them, we can deal with the Grim. You just make sure the rest of the train makes it safely to Argus. That's a plan. And that explains why they weren't together in the trailer. I mean, after the fight. Only if you'll promise you'll meet us there. Promise. Good music. And this woman again. So she's gonna stay in the back cars because she was with them. Blake again. Oh. What song?
actually do that. The move was in the red trailer, her spinning around like this. Cool. I, I like the moves when they work together. I, I like them. Is everyone okay? I'm fine. Yeah. Seems like it. <laughs> oh God. That sure was a close one up. Who are you? Wait. Is that the intro? Okay. Wait. Who is that? Wait. It was. like 22 and a half minutes like at all that's the song I played during the fight right
That's it. Whoa, okay. That was Ruby Volume 6, Chapter 1, Argus Limited. Okay, um, first off for the new intro, um, actually the music didn't get me like some of the other intros, but I'll have to watch it over and over again and maybe I'm gonna get there. <laughs> um, maybe it's going to grow on me. Um, but we saw a few interesting things in the intro. Uh, okay, I don't know if I should talk about the chapter first or the intro. Um, but the intro is a little bit fresher in my mind right now. Um, and I want just, I just want to say very quickly that one person with the cloak was going through the masses of people and there was a hat, a very familiar hat flowing around behind her and she was looking back and I'm just like, shit, is that Neo? Because the hat, it looked like Roman's hat. And now now I'm hyped for getting Neo back. And, and if we don't, then I'm probably going to be very disappointed. Um, <laughs> yeah, and also, like, there was this person standing before a statue. And I don't know, maybe it's... She was blonde. I, I don't know. I have no idea who she could be. Um, but yeah, we had a few interesting things. Um, the intro had a different style than the other ones. Even even diff more different than uh, volume 4 and 5. And even that was more anime-like. And this... I don't know. I, I have the feeling that they use more like actual scenes from the volume in this intro. Instead of just giving scenes that fit into there. Um, that, that sounded wrong. That sounded as if it doesn't, didn't fit. Now, uh, I mean just uh, that normally they put in some of the scenes that are not really in the volume itself, um, only in the intro, but here it seemed as if they like really used the footage they already had. For the episode itself, this fight was very interesting in the matter that they worked together so well. Like, we even had um, we had Ruby and Weiss working together. Um, White horse shippers will get crazy about that. <laughs> we had Blake and Yang working together, even though they still haven't really put aside her differences, their problems, as we have seen with the one talk they had. Um, and we have seen the move of Ren and Nora, we already saw in the trailer. Um, we saw Jean and Ren working together to camouflage part of the train. And we have seen Crow and Ruby do their move with the scythes. And I really like that one, because we don't really see Crow fighting with the scythe. And I really loved that he used it this time. And together with Ruby, who he taught how to use it, hers, so really nice. Um, I, I like that John has more control about a semblance, so he actually practiced, I guess. Um, and the line I was so worried about in the trailer was about this one huntsman, I guess, uh, that got taken away by the Grimm. And yeah, I was hoping that it's not a major character death, and I was right. We only knew him for a few minutes, so it's okay. Even though, I mean, it's sad that someone died, but let's face it, it would be way worse if it was one of the main characters. Uh, we also saw what um, the whole Adam scenes we had in the trailer. Um, we have now confirmation that he was the one killing all those people, all those people from the White Fang, and that the White Fang turned against him uh, because he abandoned them at Haven. 
yeah, he doesn't seem very happy about that. <laughs> and we had that one scene, uh, also according, like, also considering Adam, uh, when Blake was um, cutting off the train cart, how she did in her black trailer at the very beginning of the series. Um, and she saw Adam standing there as he stood there in the beginning of the series in her trailer. And that shows that she still like is really mentally haunted by him, even though she has moved on quite a bit. Um, and in the intro, we see that Yang is also worried about it. Um, the one little scene where she was staring out of the window and in the window, there was this reflection of Adam's face. Yeah. And talking about what, what, one, what did I want to say right now? Um, we had a few other things, uh, the weird woman that was just staying in the, um, in the cars that, uh, team Ruby took there. Um, I really want to know who she is. I'm very curious about that. I have no idea. Well, from the intro, I have like a slight idea that she might have something to do with silver eyes because we had that shot where her goggles kind of opened and then we saw Ruby's eyes. And I really hope they consider like talking a little bit about her eyes at least. Um, because it's been a long time coming. It, it started in at the end of volume three and she didn't really ask about it and many of the fans were upset about that. Um, what I wanted to talk about, there was one thing I can't remember right now that I wanted to talk about too. Just give me a minute. Okay, I found out what I wanted to talk about. That whole scene with Blake and Ilya and then Sun and Neptune coming in. Um, I love Ilya's outfit. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's just very nice. I, I would wear that, probably, maybe, maybe I shouldn't. Um, but the talk they had um, was very nice. Um, and also that Sun stays behind actually with his team and going to vacuum and everything. Um, many people, me included, were thinking about where is the rest of his team? Um, and now we got to see Neptune and hopefully we see Sage and Scarlet again um, after some time. I mean, they are going to vacuo and after the Atlas arc is finished, um, Team Ruby might go to vacuo too. And like Sun said, she probably hasn't seen the last of him. Uh, um, yeah, and I like how he was like very sweet and like saying, yeah, you don't need me anymore. Like I, I helped you through the worst. Um, now you can do this on your own and you're ready in, in some point. I, I really like that. And I'm still not sure, was that really like a pack on the cheek in the end? Okay, it, you can fight about if it was platonic or romantic. I'm, I'm not gonna fight about that right now. <laughs> Yeah, that was Ruby Volume 6, Chapter 1, and wow, th that, that was a start. I mean, I think the music could have been a little bit different. I don't know. The, the music in the fight was a little bit too calm for my, like, for a fight. Um, I couldn't get too much into the fight, like, in the end. In the beginning, it was great, the fight, but... Like the one in the end, um, because the music was so calm. Um, and the intro music also didn't really get me. But I'll try to let it grow on me for the next episode. Next chapters. God, I, I'm, I'm through. I'm, I'm tired and everything. Even though I slept like a few hours ago. So, on this note, have a nice day. And I see you in the next video. Bye!